Yo. I haven't done a video in a few days now. Uh, it's mostly because... The, the, the day before, I got home so late from driving the career partner. From driving as a career partner that I got home at 2, 2 a.m. So I didn't want to make a video then. But I actually don't know why I didn't do a video yesterday. So this is already like day 20... Ugh, I don't even know what day it is. I've been trading this... I've been trading this... Uh, this account for over a month now. So this is kind of like... 21, 22, 23, I think, I think it's 23. So it's been over a month. I got ex I got an extension. And um, I've been fucking up my trades like so bad that um, if I would trade my system, I would stay disciplined, stay patient be like mission focused just trade my proven simple strategy my the evaluation part would be done already I started this week with uh, 10,600 today has been a losing day because I'm just I'm greedy I want to get this done quickly I still have a like I still have like a whole month left so 20 something, seven, 26 days, something left. So I got so much time left. I came out of a $700, $700 drawdown and took the account into profit 700. So I made 1400 in a month, basically. Uh, so making like 400 or 200 or 100, in a month shouldn't be a fucking problem. It shouldn't be a fucking problem. That's why I'm, I'm so pissed. I'm so fucking pissed that I haven't been able to do it in a week. Instead, I've been fucking up my trade, being a complete idiot when it, when it comes to like trade management and stuff like that. I post my post my post my trades for the day. And I don't even know where I left off. I haven't gotten to the gym in like four days. That's been messing me up. So here are three photo three photos for you. So this is today. I gotta say I'm in, I'm a little bit embarrassed. Well not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed, I'm pissed at myself. I'm really pissed at myself because my trade management is completely gone to shit. First trade, CHFJPY. Okay, it was a loser. I can I can deal with that. This trade, I closed it, and like half an hour or maybe an hour later, it hit take profit. So this should have been a winner. I closed this trade, catch APY. It, 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 it was a break even stop, and uh, minutes, minutes after, it fell down to take profit. So. This is a loser. This should have been a hit, take profit hit. This should have been a winner. This was a legit loser. This should have been a winner, a hundred a hundred dollar winner. But I got greedy. I placed my take profit to two hundred or three hundred, and uh, I missed out on my hundred dollars on that trade. 
so today if i should if i would have uh followed my strategy exactly my proven strategy that took me out of my 700 dollar drawdown i would have made four winners and two losers and my evaluation would be passed but i had to be a complete ass and fuck up most of my trades and take me take losses for the day and right now i'm in two trades this song is always is always loud and right now i'm in two trades that are AUDJPY and NGDJPY so i don't know where i left off so i'm gonna just i'm gonna cover today because today is already like six trades <coughs> so let's begin so chf jpy all right chf jpy I've taken a bunch of trades here that uh, CHF JPY has not been my bestest friend. I've lost a lot and I won some trades. Anyway, uh, I took this trade that hit stop loss tonight it was something like this. Could have been like that because this would have hit take profit. This is my whole trading trading journal for this account. So let's see, Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday, right? Yeah, I took this trade when I went to drive as a courier partner, so... Fuck. Okay, I can't zoom in here. So something like this then. But my stop was over here. 60 or 65, I don't remember. Something like this. And it hit my tick at uh, stop loss with this with this one. So something like this. And it hit my stop loss. And the reasons I took this trade was H4 and H4 does divergence here from here to here and from here to here. So yes, granted there's no like there's not an actual resistance line that this trade is that the price is bouncing from so kind of a so-so trade but there is in then when I took this trade there was a head and shoulders forming possibly and also a head and shoulders here right a head and shoulders after a resistance break should indicate a fall it didn't at uh, well, it did fail a little, a little, a little bit. If I placed my stop loss a little bit tighter, this would have hit take profit. So it's the it's debatable. It was a decent trade. I think I would take this trade again. But that hit stop loss. After hit that hit stop loss. Um. The cat JPY trade I took 
can't cheat you I trade was something like this yeah well it was exactly like this maybe it was 35 I don't remember so something like this and I closed at break even here so pretty much like half an hour or minutes before this would have plummeted and I checked on the one minute chart it would have hit take profit first and then went into a drawdown uh, no not one month a minute. so it would have hit take profit first and then it would have went into a drawdown uh, so that wasn't fun that kind of threw me off because I I had just closed GP CAD uh, I took there's a bunch of stuff that went wrong with GP CAD uh, GBP CAD I took from where did I take this from GBP CAD I took from Okay, after the second move, yeah, I wanted to wait after I saw this bullish uh, bullish candle here. I wanted to enter uh, at the center line of this candle, but I got impatient and I entered uh, there. And like 10 minutes before this candle closed, it fell down to the center line where I wanted to enter. So if I would have entered here, my trade would have looked something like this, like 50 pips or something. And this would have hit take profit a lot sooner. But I entered here with a 65 pip stop. And I wanted to get... It was like this, pretty much, basically. This barely missed my take profit. I saw it, I saw it, and the profit was at 100, but I always placed my take profit at like 105 and 4 or something like that. To, uh, because, I, because I don't want these uh, commissions and stuff like that to take the profit down uh, below 100. So I want always want to get a little bit more. And uh, that ranged for a whole night, and in the morning, I closed there. So it was still a decent trade, nothing wrong with that trade, but uh, I got like 80 something out of it, which is okay. This could have easily just fell down, right? So that's okay. What wasn't okay is uh, my mindset was already messed up. I'd lost the trade in the, in the night. This I didn't get my hundred like I usually want to. This was at break even, and then I took these uh, three trades. After I closed all them off, uh, I took a USD CAD sell, which was an which was an okay trade. Like there's a divergence here, a hidden divergence. We are in a downtrend. So that was a decent trade, it, it hit take profit, although I really wanted to take this down further, but I managed to keep my discipline and I didn't because, because this happened and that really threw me off. Uh, I was watching this resistance uh, here this resistance here and I noticed a kind of a deviated M so this I entered somewhere here with a 15 pip stop it all and I want to get 200 out of it out of this and I even wanted to get 300 out of this if I just traded my system 
it almost hit stop loss. It was like 95 in the loss at some point. And it came down, made a huge bearish candle. It was over 100. And I didn't close because I was off. Okay, this evaluation is done. This is done. This is going to drop. Uh, Euro USD CAD is going to drop. Done. Done deal. And I was just listening to a podcast. Uh, I think it was from a diary of a CEO. And I don't remember who said it. Uh, I think it might have been Jay Shetty uh, that said, uh, you're always... There's a, there's a bunch of videos, a bunch of uh, memes and uh, GIFs and videos and stuff like that. That When, when you think you are won and you're going to let your guard down, there's endless examples in football and whatever, basketball and whatever, right? When you think you won and you let your guard down just before you're, you're about to win, you've lost. You're going to lose. There's a countless, countless examples of that, and that's exactly what happened to me today. I let I let my guard down. I was thinking, ah, pff, this is this is gonna drop. This is gonna drop. No way this is gonna come up, right? And I let my guard down. I just wanted to, I wanted to get uh, the evaluation done fast. I placed like two hundred something uh, take profit. And I was like, this is this is done. This is gonna drop. This is a huge bearish again, bearish engulfing candle. This, this is gonna drop. This is gonna drop to here, right? And by doing that, I lost, I lost this profit, and I even lost more because it hit my stop loss. So this really threw me off. Uh, I'm screaming at myself. Like pretty much all my emotional control went out the window. And, uh, yeah, that was bad. And uh, after I had calmed myself down and cleaned all the charts and went back to basics that uh, got me that got me into profitability, uh, I found these two trades. So this is a down downward channel. There's a head and shoulders resistance here. There's an M here. There's two wicks here. There's a uh, there's divergence here. So completely my trade. I found this trade. Hopefully this will hit a profit by tomorrow. And the NGD is exactly the same deal. Uh, down channel. Okay, sorry. Oh shit. I gotta hold on. Okay. <laughs> I needed to charge my laptop. So, um, where was I? NGD JPY is exactly the same deal. Uh, down channel, two wicks. There's no M here, but uh, it's, it's in the top of the channel. There's two wicks here. Uh, and there's hidden divergence here. So my trade again, and I can't tell you how many trades have messed up that that I should have I should have passed this evaluation a long time ago, like weeks ago now. But I've messed up so many trades. I've thrown my proven strategy and discipline out of the window. I've traded this account for so long now and then I just want to get it done. But that ex that's exactly the wrong mindset. I got so much time. If I just get like one winner a day, that's, that's, a, that's huge. That's a lot. That's enough. And uh, I'm taking too much trades. I'm, uh, I'm letting I'm letting the charts like run my life. Like when I'm when I mess up a trade and I'm in a drawdown or I'm in a losing position, I like I get I get paralyzed. I can't I can't do my work at my job 
Uh, it just stilled the chance of my win so bad. <sighs> and um, and that's kind of why the prop firm evaluation challenges are designed to make you fail. Because it takes a lot of discipline, a lot of peace of mind, a lot of patience to get this done properly. If you're if you're not like over leveraging and getting it getting the evaluation done in like four days, which is even possible with my system, basically. Uh, but um, if this was a live account and. I would be this much in profit, like six or six or seven hundred dollars in profit. I would like to think that I would stop trading, wait for the profit split, and get my get my profits, and then reset, right? And then I would I would have like evidence. I would have a peace of mind that I'm actually capable of making money with this, and uh, then I would repeat the cycle. I would like put myself, trade myself into profit, like four or 500 maybe. And uh, if I start to see that, okay, I'm a little bit edgy and uh, two weeks, I think, I think it's two weeks uh, after your first, first profit split, that two week payout uh, interval. But first you have to trade for a whole month. Like I've been trading this uh, demo evaluation process for over a month then i when i when i get this done i have to trade uh 500 in profit and that uh, i have time for that two months however long it's gonna take me and uh we'll get it done in like two weeks probably um but uh then when when the evaluation and verification is done then you have to still have to trade for a month until you get your first profit split so that in it in of itself is like uh, it's a rigged system and it takes a lot of discipline a lot of vigilance a lot of hard work patience discipline risk management peace of mind everything like, uh, it takes everything out of you but I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna get it done. I've done it before, I can do it again. I have a lot more experience. I have a lot better trading trading system that if I just stick to it, I would be done already. That's it for today. go to sleep and then I'm gonna go to the gym in the morning I haven't gotten my workouts in a while now like four days the body wants to work out I can feel it calisthenics man calisthenics is the best and for, for everyone hustling with trading it's worth it in the end I promise you can promise you that and with that said trade safe stay focused stay mission focused and uh, stay mission focused you remember why you're remember why you are doing this and I'm also talking to myself here I got like I got like ten or eight eight to ten points that I I've told myself I'm gonna read every morning, but I haven't done it. Uh, they talk about exactly the same things I'm talking about here. It's always gonna be an another trade. Stay focused. Stay mission focused. I'm gonna make an I'm gonna make a separate video of of them. Uh, and in the meantime, trade safe. Stay focused. You can do this. It's you can do this. Just stay focused. Bye guys, girls.